prosecutors say that it was in May that uh, one night little Bella didn't want to go to sleep and so McCarthy, defendant McCarthy now, said I'll go calm her down, I'll get her to sleep. And the mother uh, allegedly didn't hear anything. Some time passed, so decided I'll go in and see what's happening. She saw Bella, and her face was just very swollen, and it was gray. She held her and realized that she was dead. Mm -hmm. And she is now saying, she's the one that's talking to police. She is now saying that it was McCarthy that decided, well, let's put the little girl in the plastic bag in the refrigerator, shot him up, as you said, both of them with drugs, and then both of them allegedly went to the Boston Harbor, put the plastic bag in a duffel bag, but before that, Brooke, put weights in it. Ugh which is a significant fact right there of consciousness of guilt, of not wanting it to uh, be seen by anyone. Obviously, it floated to the shore, but the excuse was that they believed she was possessed by demons and a friend of the family who was ultimately responsible for this, uh, these, these, this couple becoming defendants said that he was in the house when, when Bella was alive. She'd be put in the closet for up to an hour because she was possessed. And they had two other kids who were taken away, correct? Department of Children and Families had two investigations yep. on Bella after she was born that she was neglected. They found substantiations of neglect, but things were done, case was closed, and now she's dead. How do you, would you even begin to, to, to defend either of these? I mean, is an insanity defense where you would go? Well, I think for McCarthy, that looks like might be the basis. I mean, you have all this talk about demons and things, but let me be clear. Mr. McCarthy's attorney came out right after the arraignment where he pled guilty and said, no, 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 my client was not involved at all in any of this. He didn't even know she was dead. The mother told him that she had been taken away by DCSF like her other children had been. And yes, you're correct. She had two other prior children in 2001 and 2006 who were taken away from her for forever. Her, uh, her parental rights were terminated. So that's what the defendant is saying as far as Mr. McCarthy said. I didn't even know. I just thought the baby had been taken away like everyone else. I'm a recovering addict. And, you know, he has not made any statements himself to the police. But we have these statements from the mother who's saying it was all Mr. McCarthy who did it. And we have this lifelong friend who says that he also asked Mr. McCarthy, did you do it? And Mr. McCarthy told him, uh, no, she's with DCSF. So we have these conflicting statements about what Mr. McCarthy did.